Hello everyone and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. In today's video I will be highlighting some things that went over on the stream this weekend. Well, not not this weekend, last weekend, yeah, there we go, last weekend. In the stream we actually built a moon uh, construction vehicle. Now in KSP you can't manipulate the ground like you can in some other games like Space Engineer. For example, which would be cool, but you know, it's 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 KSP and it, and it's fun and everything and you know, it's it's fun. But if it's one thing I like to use KSP for, it's kind of like a window into reality what could be in our real life. And if we were going to go to the moon, we wouldn't be able to just start building right then and there. We would need to bring with us tools and equipment in order in order to lay out the groundwork. In reality, when you're building something, you're going to need roads. You're going to need equipment in order to make those roads. You're going to need to be able to build and dig. When it comes to laying foundations, you can't just say, well, this ground looks heavy enough, or this ground looks hard enough. Sure, let's go ahead and put several hundred tons on top of it. You have no idea what that ground looks like on the inside. It could have soft spots. It could have holes. It could have all mannerisms of things that would just completely ruin your day if the moon base that you put on top of it started sinking and collapsing in on itself because the ground would be giving way. So the way the way to fix that would be to actually dig and build a ground foundation. And of course in order to do this you're going to need heavy equipment. Now yes in some sci-fi settings you'd put on your space suit, walk out the front door and walk up to your piece of equipment and jump in the cockpit pit and start your work day, right? However, realistically speaking, a lot of these uh, heavy equipment that would be brought to the moon would be remote controlled. You see, the thing about moon dust and regolith is that it gets everywhere. It's very staticky, so it likes to stick, and it's the most finest powdery substance that we know. And the worst part about regolith is that it's sharp. It's like, it's like pounded glass. It's nasty if it gets into your lungs. So the less time you have in your spacesuit outside, the better. So realistically speaking, a lot of these heavy pieces of equipment would be remote controlled. So you'd get up, you'd go to the control center, you'd sit down at your desk, and you'd start your work day. Now yes, it's very possible that some things would be automated, but other things might still need a human touch. So in the stream, I set forth to create this lunar uh, construction heavy piece of equipment. And I think it turned out pretty good. I had a lot of good insight from the chat, uh, especially instead of putting caterpillar, caterpillar on side it'd be cat or you know for caterpillar but with a k instead of a c which is typically a name for construction equipment and since obviously in ksp there is no regolith or anything to dig up it, i kind of made my own the craft obviously has a very heavy counterweight in the back in order to keep it firmly planted on a moon surface like you know the low gravity one of the people on chat said that that the back end of the craft, um, or the rover, looked a lot like uh, some sort of Ferrari, which I wasn't going for, but it ended up looking really nice.
People were asking why not put RTGs or solar panels on it, and that's because the amount of work that this thing will be doing, especially with all the robotic parts and stuff, would be burning up a lot of electricity. And ultimately, when it came time for the nighttime of the moon, which lasts for a very long time, these vehicles would still be working. It wouldn't, they wouldn't stop. And right now, RTGs, unless you have a crap ton of them on there, wouldn't create enough electricity to keep up. You would ultimately have to shut it down and let the RTGs charge it back up, which is, of course, something we like to call downtime. And downtime is a project manager's worst nightmare because it means nothing's happening and no production is going on. So the best way around that would to be make this thing pretty much gas powered. But there it is in all of its glory. I think it came out really well. If you want to check out the stream, it's uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure to put it in the back of the, the, the video. But that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. And if you loved what you saw, consider subscribing we also have a membership program if you become a member you get cool little emojis and badges and stuff next to your name pretty cool check it out i think next time i probably will build like maybe a dump truck i mean i've already built a dump truck in ksp but never really a moon one with this kind of style and if i ever get enough time maybe i'll build a delivery system as well so we can launch it from Kerbin the right way and have it go to the moon but that's if i that's if i have time but anyway love you all stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.